playing blues, uh, it's really just about the numbers, you know, uh, and it's not as hard as you might think. think of to start is with C blues, just a 12 bar blues, and this would be using ninth chords. So if you think about your regular C scale, right? C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which is the same as one. Well, those notes are C, D, two, E, three, F, four, G, five, A, six, B, seven, and C, one again. A ninth has the one, the three, the flat seven, which is uh, halfway between six and seven, six being A, seven being B, so a flat seven is a B flat, so that makes kind of a triangle shape down here, right? Uh, and, uh, and then your nine, which nine is the same as two, right? Uh, eight being one, and then uh, for C, and then nine being two. Well, this is starting to sound confusing to me. The shape that you want to make uh, for a C though, second finger on the third fret of the A string, that's your C, right? First finger on the second fret of the D string, that's going to be your E. Uh, third finger on the third fret of the G string, that's going to be your B flat. And then pinky finger on the third fret of your B string, there's your D right there. So we're not going to play the, either the one uh, E1 or E6 strings, just the four and ten strings. So, uh, typically blues 1, 4, 5, you'll, you'll have heard that number before, and that refers to uh, the chords in the scale, the one chord being the C chord, 1, 2, 3, 4, so C, D, E, F, the fourth chord is the F, right, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the fifth chord is the G. So if we're talking about ninth chords, the one chord would be the C9 then uh, we could go all the way up, and since C is on our uh, on our A string, we're just going to go C, D, E, F. All right, so that takes us to the 8th fret with our 2nd finger, with our naughty finger, that's the 8th fret, and that is um, an F9 right there. And then back down to the C again. So the pattern goes uh, four measures of one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then two measures of your four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and two more measures of your one again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to go all the way up to the uh, up to the five. The five for a C is a G. C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five. So we're looking for a G9. C, D, E, F, G. So that will be up on the 10th fret with your naughty finger here on the 10th fret. Same shape as the other two guys, that nine uh, made from the four inside strings, discounting the uh, the one string and the sixth string. There's your G9 or your five, or your five nine. Now we can do sort of a descending chromatic um, sounding thing. We're just going to go five to the four, but we're going to do it in half steps. So back down to the four again, which is your F, and then to the one. Now the turnaround, you can go like so. One, four, one, and five. For the five, the last five, the turnaround five, instead of playing the G9, I'm going to play G7. Just because it sounds nice. So the whole thing sounds like this. One, two, ready, begin.
that's one complete uh, cycle. So if you think about the song, uh, 12 bars, that was 12 bars right there, all the way around, and then when you get to the top again, which is the beginning, uh, you would just start over again. Now the thing um, also to remember is that when you're playing over the top of those chords, you want to focus around the one note. That's a place to start anyway. So the first notes that we could play would be the one note there. One, 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 one. And for the seven, uh, for the uh, F, F, we're going to do the same thing. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. Now that sounds pretty boring. But listen to what it sounds like when you put a, um, when you add a backing track on there. So it's just C blues uh, using C9, F9, and G9. That's one, four, five is a 12 bar. So staying on the one now. Flat seven uh, to seven to the one also. That's all I'm doing is flat seven, so uh, B flat, B C. Now for the seven, E flat, E and F. Again, back to the one, flat seven, seven. to the one, we're going to do the same thing for the five, which is the G. F, F sharp, G. Back to the C, A flat, uh, B, and uh, B flat, B, and And you just build from there. That's nice, right? It's just the numbers. Uh, about playing the blues, you know, there's just you just add the correct numbers on there as long as you're rotating around the around the one. This goes to the flat seven uh, and up to the flat three. Flat seven one flat three one flat seven flat seven one flat three one flat three one flat three one. Now the same pattern uh, for the uh, for the four chord. Back down to the one chord. Flat seven one flat three one flat seven one flat three one. We do the same thing for the five chord. Bum, 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 bum. Flat seven one flat three. It's also uh, the ease that you can do this, and it is a lot easier than you might think, right? It's also the reason why a lot of guys like jazz um, musicians tend to look sort of disdainfully at blues uh, players. But for my money, if you can play everything that you want to say, like in your heart, um, not to get too metaphysical about it, but um, the reason why blues is so significant and important to us is that you can express any emotion. You know, it's just basically pentatonic notes, uh, the five pentatonic notes, and the blues note. You can 
talk about how sad you are, how much you love somebody. All your emotions could come out there using those few notes. It's pretty amazing. So anyhow, uh, if you're interested in this stuff, um, I'm, I, am, uh, I do online lessons and I would love to hear from you, so uh, give me a holler.